Steve, so in your report, you focus on programs geared towards veterans with less than honorable discharges. Who might fall into this category? So these are veterans who um, have probably been discharged for some type of misconduct. It may have been related to their service. They may have uh, a brain injury or PTSD. Um, they often don't receive any VA benefits, uh, even for health care. Um, because they have a very high suicide rate, uh, last year the VA uh, began offering these vets uh, uh, mental health care, at least for 90 days. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, I wanted to kind of show you who we're talking about. So we followed a Marine. At his home outside San Diego, former Lance Corporal Josh Onan keeps photos next to his TV from his days as a Marine. I love it. It looks so sad. This is the Marine Corps, you know. This is what everybody strives to be. You strive for that Eagle, Globe, and Anchor. In 2006, he was in Ramadi, Iraq, when his Humvee was hit by a roadside bomb. I remember laying in the turret, like laying down in the truck, waking up being... There's dust, there's debris all over me, and there's an Iraqi colonel who's sitting in the truck with us, with my lieutenant, and he's just screaming, screaming. I don't understand what he's saying. So that's when I realized, like, oh, here we go. It's, something big's happening. For the next year, he was in and out of trouble. Small infractions, which he chalks up to the amount of medication prescribed for his head injury and PTSD. Then, while on leave, he was caught with a small amount of cocaine. That was it. He was kicked out of the Marines. I'm 32 years old now, and this guy's 20, and I look up to this guy. I know it's me, but I miss everything about it. Sometimes it's hard to find this guy. Onan is one of thousands of veterans who have other than honorable discharges. They don't qualify typically for VA benefits, even though vets like Onan have a high suicide rate. Last year, the VA created a program that gives these vets 90 days of mental health care. I think in mental health in particular, it's really hard to, to measure outcomes. Dr. Neil Doran is with the San Diego VA. They came in saying that they had an urgent need and, and they were evaluated and, and received care for, for that urgent need, whether it was a substance use disorder or, or suicidal thoughts. 10, 30, 11 -ish. Only 25 people took advantage of the program in San Diego. That sounds great. A fraction of the veterans with less than honorable discharges. The stakes are about to get higher. A new law will force the VA to seek out these veterans, though finding them will still be tough. Hey, Doc. Hi, Josh. I felt shunned. I still feel shunned. Yeah. After years of being rejected, Josh Onan is now getting his PTSD treatment paid for by the VA. Talking with you, I'll get through it. He says it's been a lifesaver, but he fears the type of alienation he felt will make it difficult for the VA to convince other vets to seek help. I wouldn't be surprised if most of them weren't alive. And the reason why I say that is without treatment, without proper care, or even loved ones, like, I don't think I could do it without God and my family. I tell my wife every day, I'm done with this. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Steve, is there any idea just how many people might fall into this category? So the, the VA is saying that uh, at least 500,000 people fall into this category. So it's a very large group. In your report, you say that only 25 people took part in the program locally in San Diego. Why so few? Nationwide, only 115 people took advantage of the program, according to the VA. Now, I talked with the Vietnam Veterans of America who, who lobbied for this program, and they called that a failure. Steve, what exactly did the military do to let people know in this category who qualified that this program was available? Ebony, they did almost nothing. That's why these veterans groups that I talked to call the program a failure. But this isn't over yet. Back in March, Congress passed a law which will require the VA to reach out to this group and actually tell them that they're eligible for mental health care if, uh, if their condition is service-related. Um, we don't know very much about how this program is going to work. They haven't said very much about it. The VA has released a statement. They gave me a statement saying, uh, it's writing implementation regulations which will provide further guidance on expanding mental health care outreach to service members in need. And that's what we know. Steve, thanks for your reporting. Thanks, Ebony.